Hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And with me today, Mitch Geisler, the CEO of Medical Imaging Corporation. And you're going to share the story of your company, ticker symbol M-E-D-D. -D. So tell me uh, about your company. What's your business model and like how long have you been around and what do you do? Sure, Jane. Well, we've uh, our first acquisition was back in 2009. And really our company strategy is on the medical imaging side of diagnostic imaging centers, people who need MRI scans, CTs, x-rays, come to us uh, after they've been to their doctor for a scan uh, whereby we provide the MRI and then our radiologists are able to provide a read report and let them know what's wrong with them and send the report off to their doctor. And uh, our strategy has been an acquisition strategy to acquire profitable centers that have uh, both top line uh, revenue and bottom line positive cash flow and EBITDA and to increase from there. So in 2009, we acquired a company uh, that was based in teleradiology services. But then in 2012, we were able to change our focus to what we really wanted, which was these acquisition strategy. Uh, and we acquired a facility in Pennsylvania, followed by a few s facilities now in Florida, and we're starting to get bigger. And uh, our model is to take us uh, through acquisition and organic growth within each center to growing the company as much as we can for benefit of all our shareholders. Okay, and that strategy has been pretty, has performed well for you. You've had nice revenue growth over the past few years. We have. Our acquisitions have allowed us to do that. So it's really twofold, as I mentioned. We have both the acquisition, which is going to be uh, a bulk of future growth as we grow. The, the, the companies that we're acquiring obviously have this revenue that have a great impact. But within each center, even though we're acquiring profitable ones, we're always, as a management team, looking for ways that we can increase the revenue so that organic growth as well. So these centers how can we get out into the community? How do we get to the referring physicians? How do we let people know about us more so, so that people, they actually have a choice when they go to get a scan. You know, you don't have to go where your doctor says. So if they hear that we provide excellent patient care, you know, and they learn about us, then it still has opportunity for growth. We can increase the amount of modalities we're offering. So it's really a twofold approach between the acquisition and the organic growth. Okay, so, you, so when you acquire these facilities, you also look at the business, how can we streamline it? Exactly. Incorporate it into the community better, work on marketing, things like that, and just improve that business that you've acquired. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We're looking at all the facets that we can, that come together for us. There's really four things that we look at as far as referring physicians, um, making sure they're happy and prompt response, getting patients in the same day if they're emergency cases, uh, the patient experience, obviously, when they're in our clinic, the community involvement, uh, you know, and advertising to people, letting them know we're about there. These are all facets that go into the growth of a facility. Okay. Now, when you do these acquisitions, cash, stock, combination of the two, how does that work? Sure. So, right now, we've been doing our centers have been cash. Um, we haven't spent a ton of time on the investor side, which is why we want to really get our story out there because we think we have an exciting story to tell and that people should be looking at us. So, we've done a lot of cash deals. Uh, to protect our shareholders because we don't want to just put out a lot of shares at, at the prices. So as we go forward, we'll certainly look at ways and opportunities that we can incorporate doing equity raises as well, which would be beneficial to the company. But it's kind of twofold. As we get bigger, we'll hit a point where our cash flow generation will be so positive, we'll be able to take that cash, reinvest it into acquisitions without the need to do equity or debt. So there's a lot of opportunity as we grow to really acquire those centers while keeping our shares to a minimum to make sure we're maximizing for shareholders. So tell me about uh, the overall market, the MRI market. Um, how, how is that? How is it growing? What's a snapshot of that? Yeah, so it, in the United States, there's about 2,400 independent testing facilities, we call them, that are owned by, could be a, uh, single physician or a small radiology group or just an independent owner who got into the business somehow. It's a multi-billion dollar industry in the United States with a lot of opportunity. And these centers, you know, when we go to acquire them, we go through an extensive diligence process to make sure not all of them are for us, but the ones that are right, we go through an extensive process to make sure it's offering what we want. You know, it's a great opportunity in the industry to, we're at a good point because there's been a, some consolidation, um, some of the fee structures have changed, and the, the barriers to entry for some people can be onerous because it's expensive to open up and to get an MRI machine if you don't know what you're doing. You know, we now have the resources, we've built out the infrastructure, so now we've positioned ourselves well 
for this growth strategy as we move forward. There's all kinds of things, constantly moving parts in healthcare. Um, we've got Obamacare, we've got all kinds of variations of that. Who knows, that may be gone someday or at least changed. There's Medicare issues. How do you navigate all that? It, it, can, be, it can be confusing at times. You have to know how to go through it. So um, really, when it comes down to it, what's been great for the industry, um, in 2015, uh, Congress passed the Chip Authorization Act, HR2, which what it did for many years, we had a process whereby there was a threat, not necessarily imposed, but a threat of Medicare cuts of up to 20, 22% a year. And a lot of private insurances will index their rates to Medicare. So that's why some people may have heard that the industry went through, the, the diagnostic imaging industry went through a tough time in the mid 2000s and even earlier in 2011, 12, 13. So now that they've passed this, they've given us stability. So there's a, a very minimal increase of about 1% in fees, but more importantly, what they've done is they've set for the next decade that there's not going to be any decreases in rates. So there's a few increases, they're minimal, but at least there's no threat of decreases each year. We don't have to wait every April on right. what is Congress going to do before they go on a spring vacation, because we didn't know. And it's twofold. So it allows Medicare, gives us some consistency in the, in the, in the marketplace for reimbursement rates. And at the same time, the private insurers, when they're indexing to Medicare, they know that what the rates are going to be, and we also know, so they shouldn't drop their rates. So now, I think we've come from a period where it was probably very high in the early two th late 90s, early 2000s, as far as reimbursement rates, and it had dipped. And now we got a consistency. And that's really good for us going forward, because it allows us to manage and plan accordingly. OK. Now, so finally, tell me, um, how can someone look at your company as a potential investment? How can they find out more about it? They can come to our website. We're putting our word out there. We want people to look at us. I think for us, it's important to you look at a company like Medical Imaging Corp because healthcare is a very important part of a portfolio, in my opinion. Um, it's something that's going to be around for a long time. Uh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's something that's recession proof. And everybody at some point needs a scan. So you, you go to the, your doctor, you go to the emergency room, whatever the case is, you have a bum knee, a flu, you had a stroke, your doctor's sending you for your image. You have to know the, your inner self, what's going on, be it an x-ray, an MRI, a CT. So the industry isn't going anywhere. So I think if you're looking at junior companies, you want to take a look at the med story because we already have over 7 million in revenue. We're working our way towards 15 million with further acquisitions and targets that we have anticipated. And it really offers an opportunity on the junior sector side for a company, hey, we've proven our model. We know it's working because we've been able to acquire. We've been able to increase revenue with the organic growth, as I mentioned earlier. And there's a lot of opportunity out there. So I think it's a really good time to take a look at Medical Imaging Corp and see what we can offer you in your portfolio. Okay. Thank you very much, Mitch, for sharing the story of your company with us today. Thank you for having okay. me. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. For more information on other interesting companies, you can go to smallcapnation.com.